here's a really cool situation that you just don't find all the time. We're right on this two track right here and we're in big woods uh, in the middle of Pennsylvania, really big woods. And we have a hollow tree here and the animal traffic, you can see it's, 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 there's some tracks here. I can't tell what they are, but this is being used and pretty much it's a natural cubby. Uh, you're going to have coyotes, fox, coon, bobcat, fisher. You're going to have all those animals running this two track. This is only about five or six feet off of the road. And any animal that comes up through here is probably going to check this out just to kind of come in, sniff around, snoop around. I'm not going to use any lure or bait here. Uh, I'm actually going to use the new number two dogless as well because uh, I can catch a fox here. I can catch a coon. I can hook into a fisher. Uh, I can hook into a bobcat, a coyote. And this trap's gonna work for all those critters. Um, we got the heavy duty ground talent on here, but the one thing I'm not gonna do is I'm not gonna use any lure and bait here. I think that any animal that's coming up by here is gonna be checking this out. And I wanna keep this pretty much the way it looks right now too. So there's really not a lot that I want to do here. I'm just going to dig a little area for the trap to go. And I'm not going to make this as, you know, gaudy as I usually do when I do a uh, normal canine set with a lot of eye appeal. I'm going to actually just dig this out a little bit right here and make a place for my trap. And that's where the trap's going to go right there and then i'm going to cover it back up this stuff's really dry too it's almost like it's peat moss but uh we're going to get the trap in there but uh this number two dog list that duke put out is a really good trap it's double base plated center base swiveled uh it's got an offset jaw um and the dog list so it's it's a nice trap and it's going to work good for uh for this situation right here so we'll get it set and it sets really flat and really level. And we're going to get the stake pounded in. All right, we got that down in there. And then we're just going to set it. And now that trap is going to bed nicely. Dig that out just a hair right there. And that trap sets nicely right there pack the jaws you still want to pack it in tight make sure you have that trap in there tight you don't want any wobble any wiggle and that's what you want to do there but uh this is really cool find a natural cubby like this and to be able to put it in the ground is really really uh unique we're just going to take this uh like I said, it's like peat moss. It's really dry. I don't have a pan cover, but what you can do a lot of times for a pan cover is you can just use a leaf. Put a leaf on there. That's going to keep the dirt from going under the pan. And we're going to cover this up just like that. I mean, that looks exactly the same as it was when we got here. And that I'm not, like I said, I'm not putting any lure, I'm not putting any bait. Any animal working this two track is gonna come in here, investigate this natural cubby, this hollow tree. Now, this is the coolest set that I've put in this year and hopefully uh, we'll have something hero. I only have about three days to trap over here, but hopefully we'll have something in the next three days. If we don't, that's fine, but just pay attention out there. Uh, when you have a natural situation like this, that presents itself use it to your fullest advantage and i couldn't be any more psyched i'm excited to uh have this in the ground control predators on your land with a north american trapper coyote package you'll get all of the trapping essentials needed to handle this elusive critter with an instructional dvd included to teach you the way get your coyote trapping box and more at northamericantrapper.com